So create some text, write anything. In the text controls, turn the fill to none and turn up the depth to something neon-y. Create an emission material and yeah, all right, neon sign. You can load in a cool font. Sometimes I'll duplicate it, turn the fill to back and slide up the offset and extrude. Gives it a nice frame. You can also duplicate the neon and change the offset to double it. Same thing with Bezier curves. You can trace a logo, turn up the depth and you got a custom sign. Or use them to add a bit more detail, yeah. Sometimes I'll combine a few emission shaders with a Fresnel into the mix shader. Kind of weird. Give those curves a black material and you got the droopy cables. You can model some low poly supports and beef it up with a solidify modifier. But let's get back to those fonts because you can download weird ones. Dingbats. Any symbols can be good. These are great. Neon traffic signs. Those aren't real, but I wish they were. Fast food. Yeah, all right, it's a donut. And you can still update it at any time. Right click on the emission strength and add a keyframe. Go into the graph editor and make it blink. Shift E makes it cyclic, blink forever. Or use a noise modifier to give it a little flicker. You can do noodles, you cyberpunks, your Blade Runner noodles and droopy cables. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I come from Alabama with a knee on my banjo.